Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. Today's welcome back. Today's Monday, January eighth, twenty eighteen. Feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever, at least three days. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I haven't seen you guys. Period, because I've never really seen any of you guys. You guys have only seen me. But anyway, um, welcome back. Um, as you guys already know, if you guys follow me, you know, uh, I've been very. I was very busy this weekend. I couldn't make any videos, and uh, because I was making another video i was uh, working for a client and i spent too many hours so many hours just working on the stop motion project over and it just it was killing me i send it to the client today and as soon as i you know i'm getting my coffee i get the email back and it's like oh hey can you make this many changes it's just like fuck <laughs> so I thought I was done, and now I'm not even anywhere close to done. I'm like, have maybe 50% done. So I gotta like, you know, redo a lot of the scenes and redo a lot of the stuff that I was doing. But again, it's it's fine. This is just part of uh, this whole thing. Thank God I love what I do. Otherwise, I would be really upset and sad and pissed off and whatever. And she, you know, actually paid for half of the, you know, of the of the work already ahead of time you know just because uh, she knew um it's a lot of work and a lot of overwhelming or whatever so that, that was good you know what i mean at least uh, uh the list of changes came with a check so <laughs> that's good so anyway so i gotta get back to work on that and uh i've been actually i've been up really early this morning uh so what time is it right now it's already pretty late i feel like i've been doing a lot of shit. It's 10 30 but anyway i've already been up for over three hours and it's from the minute I woke up. It's besides dealing with my client, I'm listening to the news, and you know everything from the market fucking crashing. You know the the coin market cap. Does that, does that, does that get excited? <laughs> so anyway, you know everything from that. You know crashing to you know fucking electrum fucking wallets. You know getting hacked and uh, what else? What else? Just like a bunch of things. You know plus a bunch of shit that was happening this weekend and it was happening on Friday and I just. I, I really didn't get a chance to talk about anything because I didn't get a chance to do a video. I just haven't had the time to breathe. And, and even today, I thought I was going to have some time to breathe. And sure enough, bad, bad Jose, thinking you can rest. <laughs> so anyway, regardless, who cares? You know what I mean? I don't like less resting on my laurels anyway. Let's just get to the fucking news. Let's get to the work and um, stop, talk, stop talking crap, okay? I feel like all I'm doing here is just giving you uh, a background on my life. Like, like any of you fucking give a fuck anyway. So... Let's just talk about like uh, I wrote a few things down because there's a lot of things to talk about Most importantly, let's get this going I really need it So anyway, let's just you know go with the, the first thing I wrote down the market correction man You know me. I love red. I love the market correction And then when I when I saw this morning, yeah, I have some gold in there. I'm always digging for gold <laughs> and silver <laughs> So, uh, what was I saying, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole thing with the market correction was, uh, you know, pretty awesome when I read what was happening with the market correction, where on, was it, coinmarketcap.com or whatever the fuck, that website that we all visit, um, they literally took the Korean exchanges away, which I thought was hilarious. Therefore, bringing the price you know, pretty much to what we all pay, because as we already all know, if we're in this mar we're in this space for a little bit already, that you know the Korean markets in that part of the world is kind of like on their own thing. In fact, you know we can't really trade with them, and they have their own exchanges, and their 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 coins over there go for a higher premium just because of that fact that you know they're hard harder to get, and then you know harder to trade, and that whole thing. So. They took away the stuff in the Korean exchanges. They put a little asterisk next to it. And now the price, you know, there's a price drop all across the board on all the altcoins, but all, all, that, all that really is is just um, that they're all kind of going back, you're going to the fair value where they, they should be because I, you know, I kind of like agree. I don't think that the Korean market should be lumped up with all that because it's just completely different things. But anyway, so that happened and it's funny because like uh, there was a lot of panic selling, panic everything, panic period, and then all of a sudden, you know, just a few hours into the, the trading day, you look back and everything's make, made a full recovery for the most part, or at least on its way back up. And why? It's just the thing that I keep talking to you guys about, and I've already mentioned a million times over. There are not going to be any dips. 
I mean, they're gonna be dips, obviously. You know, they're gonna be major dips. They're gonna be all kinds of fucking dips. But with every motherfucking dip, there's gonna be a a buy. I mean, because there's people like me, a lot more people like me and you guys out there that are just sitting on the sidelines waiting. And the minute that your favorite coin or your favorite anything goes down in price, you're not gonna, you, you know, you're gonna panic to see how much money you can get to buy as many of those as possible. That's it. So. Yeah, man, and, and, and this is only the beginning of all this. Remember, January 8th, we're like, a, we're literally a week and a day in to the fucking year. Eight days into the year. Still on, still, uh, three, 50, 357 days to go. 357 Heinz ketchup days to go, okay? So, that happened, okay? So, that's, this, we already talked about the market correction, uh, that was pretty, that's interesting. That's, you know, something that's happened. It's Monday, I can't believe it's Monday. It doesn't even feel like a fucking Monday. It's like every day is, it's, you know, something. <clears throat> the Electrum wallet. I woke up this morning and almost had a motherfucking heart attack because I'm just, you know, making my coffee, listening to, you know, Michael on Box Mining, which I was listening to last night, you know. By the way, love the new format, love the, the live streaming and the whole thing. Keeping it raw 100 that's it, bro. That's all we all got to do. I'm glad. I don't know if you were listening to me or not, but who gives a fuck? Love you, Michael. Love you, Box Mining. Love it. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it, all right? We all need more attitude, more punk, more metal in this, all right? Like, I was talking to my friend last night. She was telling me. Anyway, we were just talking about art stuff, and I, we need more metal, more punk. We need more fucking attitude in this fucking world right now. So, all right. Anyway, with that being said, so I, I fucking, you know, I, I wake up, and I see he has, like, a short three-minute video, and I'm like, uh-oh. And I see you know, the, 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 the little fucking, uh, the picture, whatever, that he put up. I was like, uh-oh, not good. So I click on the video real quick, and he was just pretty much talking about the Electrum wallet hack. So look, I'm going to keep it real simple here. I feel like I always talk too much. But anyway, if you guys out there have a fucking Electrum wallet, don't open it. Don't open it. Update it. In fact, don't even listen to me at this point. If I were you, like, really, for real, if you guys have an Electrum wallet, and if you guys have some money in there, like, period, and you guys are... Just turn this fucking off, go to Box Mining, listen to his last video on this, okay, and he will pretty much guide you um, on how to do this properly. Or don't, don't, I'm not the guy for that, okay? But but still, if you guys have one of those wallets, whether it's for Bitcoin, Litecoin, whatever, um, get on it right now, update it, okay? Um, if possible, move your funds to another wallet, um, but get on this ASAP. Do not open your fucking wallet unless you've already updated it do not open your wallet unless you plan on fucking transferring the funds immediately and shit like that because again you know just as McGaffey was saying months ago now a lot of these things are coming to fruition so you motherfuckers better start getting your hardware wallets you guys everybody better start getting on it because this is the very beginning okay everything from the intel fucking chip situation that fucking you know dumpster fire cluster fuck of a thing um uh, now the whole thing with the electrum wallet um uh, another story that i heard of some fucking again this this is an idiot okay if you guys do this you guys deserve to fucking lose it but anyway i heard this other story of some guy that had i don't know how much but i, I already heard tens of thousands and that was already enough okay this guy's a fucking idiot for doing this but supposedly he bought a ledger or a treasure, one of these fucking wallets off of Amazon, secondhand. Like, I mean, are you fucking kidding me right now? You deserve to get all your shit stolen, and same as anybody else that does it, okay? Like, if look again, I, I don't know, I keep bringing up box mining because he's, you know, he's really good with his uh, episodes. But anyway, he, he literally had a treasure uh, unboxing the other day, a week ago. I don't know what the fuck. And uh, unless your hardware wallet comes like i mean fucking sealed with like a million pieces of glue and tape and and this whole fucking thing and it comes directly from the fucking company and even then this just still par makes me paranoid but anyway I unless it like literally comes like literally from the fucking factory you know conveyor belt to your fucking pocket don't get it do not buy one of these fucking things on amazon do not buy one of these things second hand do not buy one that's used no because if you do then whatever happened to, you know, what happened to the, the, this guy in the story where he lost all his funds, yeah, that's going to happen. I mean, I, will, I, will, I mean, I'm surprised that, that, story, that a story like that hasn't already come out or happened. Don't be surprised if more of these things happen. But again, come on now. Give me a fucking break here, all right? 
Same thing with uh, Bittrex, Binance, I don't know what the fuck, where people are selling their accounts and then, you know, other people are buying these accounts. I mean, seriously, people, are you, you guys are really buying these fucking things and expecting nobody to fucking hack them or take them or anything? I mean, come on, man. I mean, it's like, how about this? It's, it's, it, when you buy a house or you even rent a fucking apartment, the first thing you do is change the locks in your house. And like, all you're fucking doing when you get a, one of these Binance accounts or, what the fuck was it? Um, the, the last thing I was talking about. Reg uh, regardless, you know what I mean? Like, uh, oh yeah, yeah the, the secondhand uh, hardware wallet. All you're doing is that you're buying the house, renting the house, and you never change your fucking locks. You leave for work, and then you're, astonished when you come home from work and everything is stolen and no one broke in okay like they just used the key same fucking scenario here okay so no i don't feel bad okay because i've lost lots of funds a lot of motherfuckers out there have lost lots of funds whether it's been through mount cox through fucking stupidity through through fucking you know trusting the wrong people through and through a lot of these things okay and this is all part of this motherfucking world so you can make a lot of motherfucking money, lose a lot of motherfucking money, but at the end of the day, you gotta have some fucking balls, okay, to really be in this fucking space. I'm sorry, okay, because, you know, it, 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 it's not easy fucking losing a lot, okay, and, you know, just brushing it off and keep going, okay? So, with that being said, um, don't be stupid, okay, out there, okay? We're all stupid, okay? We've all succumb to stupidity out here okay every one of us okay no matter who we are in the space anyone from the fucking McGaffey's of the world to me to Michael to Trayvon to whoever to you so don't feel don't feel dumb okay remember we're like in a crazy beta when it comes to all this shit it's it's normal to me making this mistakes okay we have a humongous advantage by being in the space at this moment right now and learning everything with a hammer you know ball peeing the hammers towards the head um as a, you know, so by the time that everything finally does roll out, everything's fucking, you know, user friendly and the whole fucking thing, we're going to be light years ahead of everybody else because we were here at the very beginning when they were still in beta, which is what all this still is, by the way, everything from Bitcoin to the, to the, all the coins to everything that's, we're still like in, in a fucking beta right now. So, uh, you know, what is it power to us, you know, that are fucking, you know, uh, holding strong and building this community right now. So. I don't know um, how long this video is going. I'm kind of have that blocked, but regardless, I feel like we've talked about a lot of things today, especially in the security realm of this space. Okay, where security, where, where you know, where a lot of us gravitate towards this because of the security, but at the same time, it's security is at a premium, just like everything else and every and everything in in this space and in the world right now. So, you know. Um, Heed with caution this whole fucking space, the whole everything, okay? Please, all right? I don't want to be that guy to keep fucking reminding you like mommy and daddy, but don't ever put anything into the space that you're not already willing to lose, okay? That's it, okay? Simple as that. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people are in this space because we don't have much of a choice. It's not like whether we have a choice of losing or not losing. It's like we have to do what we got to do. A lot of us, most of us, all right? So the next topic I'm gonna talk about, fuck it, because I wrote it down. So like uh, another topic I wanna talk about is Ripple. Let's talk about Ripple again, okay? Fucking hate Ripple, I hate that banker banker coin. Everyone, again, after I made my last video or the, a video talking about how Ripple sucks, I started getting a lot of, uh, not comments on my YouTube page because you know, most people in the community already kind of know what's up, but like actually uh, my friends and, and other people that were like texting me and you know, messaging me and shit like that and telling me like, oh, why do you hate Ripple? And going through this whole fucking, you know, what, what, what do you mean? What's wrong with Ripple? And so I had to, you know, calmly explain to them, you know, and not everybody got it and not everybody really gives a fuck. But you know, why we're into the blockchain, why Bitcoin is important, why Ripple is the devil, why all these things and you know, going through that whole situation. But what really brought everything home was, again, I, I keep bringing up Michael and Box Mining because this guy, I mean, you know, there's a reason. I like to reference, okay, I'm, I'm, and I'm trying to as much as possible to, to reference where I get a lot of my information. And, you know, so far, at least this episode, you know, I'm going to dedicate it to Michael and Box Mining because that motherfucker, you know, has provided a lot of information, you know, for this video and, uh, and for all these topics that I'm talking about today. But anyway... One, something that he brought up a few days ago when it comes to the whole Ripple thing, which kind of like 
you know, blew my fucking mind. I mean, something I already knew, and I think a lot of us already fucking know, but we choose to be in denial and not look at it or whatever. First of all, I didn't really care about this because I don't, I don't even fuck with that coin or coins like this. But when he brought this up, I was like, oh, wait a minute. This is a very important nugget of information that I feel like should be spread and thrown out at everybody. Anyway, if, if you want more information, just look at his episode. But all I'm saying, I mean, all he was saying is this, that... Even though Ripple right now is at, I don't know what the fuck price it is, $2 something, $3 and something, whatever, in that price range of, uh, instead of pennies, but two, three dollars. Well, when you do the math for the amount of coins out there, okay, relative to the price, okay, so for example, the reason that, that you know Bitcoin is at 18 or whatever, 15K or whatever the price is today, 14K, is because you know that's kind of like you know the price relative to the coins, okay, and to the coins. Now, if Ripple, if Ripple were have were to have the same amount of coins as um, Bitcoin, then the price of Ripple would be drum roll, please. Guess what? Pretty comparable to Bitcoin about 15 to 18 grand per ripple, per ripple. But since there's so many ripple coins out there, that's why it's at $2 and something, $3. But if you were to reevaluate and do the math properly, again, go to Box Mining, go to his episode. He does it all. He shows you, he fucking, you know, does it. And it's, it's fucking incredible. And so then besides looking at that coin in that situation, there's, you know, now we got to look at all these other shit coins. All, not, not everything's a shit coin, but all these other coins in the pennies and in the you know in that range of under a dollar and see how many coins there are and just do that same math because they might be already way crazy overvalued okay just like steam and steam you know the whole thing with steam i love steam i'm all about steam and steaming but you know that you i don't even know what the, i don't even want to know what price it's at right now okay i'm sure my my steam wallet is nice okay and heavy but Come on now, we, 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 the, the ones that have been in the Steam fucking sphere for a while and all that shouldn't be any, you know, shouldn't be, it should be hovering around a dollar ish, right? This was according to them. And, you know, let's talk about Dogecoin, you know, like where the fucking guy from Dogecoin, the dog coin, woof, woof, even he fucking said that it's insanity, okay? The over evaluation of, of that coin, okay? Of a coin that hasn't even had, like, quoting what they said, okay? Um, that that coin hasn't even you know had an update in over two years so anyways guys um be careful out there all right do your fucking homework don't just fucking throw money at something and expect the fucking money to come back because guess what when you lose it you deserve to fucking lose it we've all been there but again that's just stupid okay so if it, right now we can all, and there's nothing even about making you look, you can make a lot of money. You can at least, at the very least, you know, keep even and, you know, maintain the value of the hard work that you put into getting that money. It doesn't matter. But right now we should not be losing money. And if we lose money, we should be making money as well. But at the very least, if you don't know what you're doing, put it in Litecoin or put it in Bitcoin, put it in something and just hold it, you know? Once you start learning and figuring it out, then you know, hey, I wanna invest in this coin, I wanna invest in that, I wanna do this and whatever, and then you start gradually doing your own homework and doing your own due diligence and figuring out what you think, okay, is, is gonna fucking jump into the future and be something that's gonna be worth something, right? Not, don't go just by buying, like, oh, I'm gonna buy this coin because it's at a penny now and blah, 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 and then, you know, you look at the white paper, you look at the website and it's like not even, it's not, it's like non-existent, you know? I love when people ask me just basic questions and like, hey, what do you think about this or that coin? And then all I do is just do a quick uh, search. I mean, I, I, I go to coin market cap, search for the coin, go to their website and within a few fucking minutes, seconds, I'm already like, uh, I can pretty much already tell whether, you know, most likely it's, it's, it's something of very credible and an amazing, you know, platform, whatever, you know what I mean, coin for the future, or it's literally just like a Ponzi scheme, like that. And, what the fuck, I don't know anything, you know, I'm just fucking common sense, but hey, this is something that I learned when I was a young kid, from 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 uh, from this uh, old lady cook that, you know, taught me a lot of shit, she goes, Sonny, sometimes common sense ain't so common. And, you know, 
like I guess you know that's very very motherfucking true with a lot of motherfucking people and uh, they got that some of us out there have some common sense and we can fucking learn and build and you know grow from this uh, and everybody does have common sense but again uh, believe it or not like this is all part of the cycle because without there again look man I don't fucking mean to be picking on anybody but without there being dumb motherfuckers out there alright us smart motherfuckers out here cannot participate in this wealth transfer situation listen it's like that okay there has to be both sides okay there cannot be a wealth transfer if there aren't other people on the other end of the stick they have no idea what's going on. That's just the reality of it. Because if everybody, if everybody fucking knew what we fucking knew, then that's it. We're, we're, you know, whoever doesn't have anything is never gonna get it, and whoever has it is always gonna keep it. But thank God that a lot of the people that have it don't know shit and don't know anything about what's going on. They don't. They're not even doing the due diligence or anything. They're throwing money at shit coins and doing all kinds of horrible things because you know, and people like us are reaping the rewards, benefiting from this, and. Uh, you know, this is the wealth transfer. This is how it begins, how it starts, how how, how it, it, it happens. It's, it's not overnight. It just, you know, we would like it to be overnight, but it's not. And it's gonna, it takes time, but this is part of it, all right? And sure, you know what I mean? They might be losing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a day, and we might be only gaining a hundred dollars a day, but it doesn't matter, okay? We, and, and, and you know the point is that they're going down we're going up and we're doing our homework they're not doing their homework and that's it you know what i mean it's as simple as that you know we're, we're just you know um just digging our way out of this hole that they put us in so anyway i already looked at the time i already see it's gone past <laughs> as usual but hey it's fine i haven't been here all weekend it's monday morning episode and uh, i feel like we touched on a lot of subjects talked about a lot of things um, but damn, man, you know, like I, this is one last thing I want to kind of talk about and, and 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 touch on because I was thinking about this the other day, and I was like, man, this is fucking crazy. So remember, this to give you the history perspective or right? the historian's perspective and, and the whole fucking thing. So right now, when it comes to, um, uh, you know what? Let me turn this off. It's just two seconds, okay? One. Yeah, I push the wrong button. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Let's do this again. All right, two seconds. One, two. All right, see, seriously. It was only, right. It's the last thing I'm going to say. But this is the reality, okay? It's just something that I wrote down and I got to, like, kind of talk about because I feel super important. So I was realizing this the other day that, you know, I remember I listened to not just history, but, you know, like the history of money, the history of the world, you know, not the, the, the Mel Brooks, but, you know, the real, and like <clears throat> all this stuff. <clears throat> I remember it's the same cycle repeating over and over and over again. When, let's just go back to the Great Depression. All right? I'm gonna make this super crazy quick, okay? <clears throat> but during the Great Depression, right before the whole fucking market crashed, right before the whole fucking market crashed, Everybody and their mother was buying stocks. The sh Remember, this is 1929. The shoe shine boy. So that's the equivalent of, come on, the shoe shine boy, man. Come on, give me a fucking break. The fucking guy, kid selling lemonade on the street. That fucking guy had stock. Everybody had stock. For the first time in human history, this is going back over 100 years. For the first time in human history, this would have made him one of the things that made America great. Good and bad. But. Up until then, the only people that could ever participate in the stock market or buy stocks or do any of that kind of shit were the elites, the people that, you know, the, just uh, the people that have power, that have money, you know, the, the business owners, you know, the, 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 the royalty, all those fucking people, corporations. Those are, I mean, that's it. That's the only people that were able to participate. But when the stock market um, was born and you know, especially in the early 1900s of this country and, and up until that time, up still to today, we were the first stock market, period, in, on, on the planet to allow the average U.S. citizen, the average citizen, the average person, okay, the, to, to participate in it. Therefore, 
Um, that's why, again, I'm, I'm making this super crazy long story short, but that's why, you know what I mean? Like the shoe shine boy was able to buy stock. That's why everybody in the country was involved in the stock market. And that's why when the fucking thing crashed, for the most part, everybody got fucked over. Now, we've all learned from this. Not really. This happened again in the 80s. It's still happening again today where I see people and people still, not only do I see people still jumping into the shit, but I still see people, you know, looking at their 401ks and looking at their mutual funds and looking at that whole fucking thing. And, but the reality is that nowadays, okay, most people, and again, we can go back to just the Mike Maloney thing. And, you know, he talks about volatility. I mean, no volatility. Um, velocity of money, the velocity of money, and we, we've talked about this already before. When we talk about the VIX and we talk about the the bonds and the stock market and all this other shit, well, right now and every single day from here on forward, I mean, it's been already happening for 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 weeks, months now. The everything, you know, the movement of the stock market, every single fucking thing has been flatlined. And you know, right now, from when we're time we look at the news or anything like that, like the Dow and all these fucking things are jumping and going up in record highs and all these things are happening. Well, what, again, no, this is very long winded, but what I was thinking about the other night was just thinking like, oh, wow, wait a minute. You know, when I was looking at that cryptocurrency market and, you know, how everything is starting and then how everyone's jumping into this new stock market, I'm like, holy shit, wait a minute. So Wall Street, okay, this is the point I'm trying to make. Wall Street has been trying for the longest motherfucking time to get every every citizen back into the stock market, okay? That's why we have so many fucking channels dedicated to, you know, like the CNBCs of the world and that whole thing. But because people have lost one the complete faith and lost, uh, you know, not just lost faith, but lost trust, lost everything um, in, in the stock market and the banks and all this, this world, that's why people are, are, you know, the, the last thing that, first of all, they don't have any money, but the, the little money that they have, they're saving it or putting it somewhere else. But the last thing they're fucking doing is putting it into these spaces, you know, and buying stocks or buying anything like that. Hence why everything is flatlined. The reason that everything keeps moving up, you know, we're, we're 25,000 point Dow and all this other shit is going up is because again, you know, the whole buying of the bonds, the market manipulation, you know, everything our government's doing. Eh. So now, since this uh, past Christmas and moving forward, um, we've all been noticing that this whole cryptocurrency market is getting fire. It's getting a little fire under its belly. Everyone's jumping in. Everybody wants, it's not only asking, they're not even asking what Bitcoin is anymore. They're more like, working are to buy Bitcoin, working to buy other coins. And this is the beginning of the mania, the beginning of the euphoria, the beginning of where everything. We're not anywhere close to a bubble, okay? And again, if you follow the even the stock market bubble of 1929 and others, eh, 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 okay, it's not just eh. <laughs> all right. So we're prime. We're at the very beginning. It's still good. All right. This is like buying into the stock market in 19 before the 1929 crash, like way before, and then selling before the crash. So we're not even anywhere close to the selling point yet. Okay, we're in the buying point right now remember the shoe shine boy the that guy that was the lemonade stand the kid still has yet to buy the stock we're, we're getting there okay remember mom grandma everybody has to be into this thing so what i think okay um after just i know this is super crazy long winded but what i was just putting together in my head was like well thinking like well a lot of us you know we, we we're, we're pretty much prime into like the whole economy is about to tank and everything's gonna tank and everything's gonna fall but the more we look at everything, we're seeing, man, this is not going to tank. This is not going to tank anytime soon. This might be going on for a lot longer. Fuck 25,000 Dow. It's probably going to be 50,000 Dow, 100,000 Dow. And there's not really, you know, stretching the imagination here. And how, how I, I kind of think I figured it out, how it's going to get there? Easy. Because all the money that is supposed to be going into the stock market from us, is not going there. It's going into this altcoin market, okay? And remember, we're at the very beginning of it. So, as far as I know, what the fuck do I know? But um, I think that the whole coin market, this is why it's unregulated, this is why they're letting it fucking run free, that's why they're letting it do everything, because they're letting everyone get into the space, letting everyone get money, rich, euphoria, the whole fucking thing to pump up the economy back to where it was more fakeness, more everything. So 
you know, I, I feel like um, I should, you know, gather my thoughts a little more on this subject and maybe make a video on it. But I really do think that there's a lot of strong correlation between, you know, the stock market, um, you know, boom and bust of 29 and what's happening right now. Like, uh, I mean, it's eerily similar. Only, you know, nobody, if you go again, you look at pictures of the stock market right now, you see like three people hanging around there. All right. And you look at, you know, the cryptocurrency, whatever. And, you know, the markets are getting over flooded. The networks are getting over flooded. You know, um, they can't even, they can't accept um, any more people to the exchanges, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And it's only going to get worse. I mean, worse, better. You know what I mean? In the sense it's only going to grow and grow and grow and grow. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little more research on this. I'm gonna talk about this a little more, but I really do think there's a lot of strong correlation between both of these. And I really do think that this is what our our government, the banksters, the powers that be, and all this shit are trying to do in order to keep this system up, keep pumping the system, and keep, keep it moving and keep it alive further and further and further. Because at the end of the day, you know, we, we, you know, we, 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 you know, we need to like, you know, all of us out here, you know, we need to sit here and really analyze these situations and figure out why they're happening. And, um, you know, we can, you know, you know, a lot of us, you know, out here talk about economics and financial shit like that, you know, we can fucking sit here and speculate all we want and think, well, it's going to crash tomorrow or it's going to fucking go forever. Okay. Yeah, fine. That's great. But we, we need like facts and we need ideas and we need all, you know, more than just a thought. Okay. So after I thought about this, you know, and I started putting, putting two and two together with 1929 and that whole, the stock market and this is the new stock market and this whole thing. And I'm like thinking, oh man, wait a minute. Okay. Now I see how this can keep going and going and going. By the way, the great depression started in 1929, but it did not end until about 1942. People don't know that shit. And when, why did it end? Because of World War II. And again, you know, I think it ended a little sooner, whatever, but it ended around there. Okay, so all I'm saying is that, like, you know, we've been in the Great Depression. We've been in the Depression for a while, okay? We've been at war. We've been, this is a different time, but it isn't. There's a lot of always, you know, similarities as we look back at history. And I really do think that right now, Again, nobody, none of these fucking people at the top want the fucking system to crash. Nobody really wants the system to crash despite what you're going to hear out there. Um, so, yeah, I think that it's going to keep going and going and going. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just keep riding this, you know, this horse. Okay, guys, that's it. This is enough for today. I feel like I've fucking been talking for fucking ever, which I kind of have. It's been a very long episode. Welcome back. It's Monday, January 8th. 2018 glad you fucking enjoyed listening to me okay somebody does anyway besides me all right that's it please like please subscribe please share please comment let's keep this going let's keep 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 it going okay it's a super crazy long episode but you know what who gives a fuck michael put it out a fucking two hour plus episode yesterday so i'm guessing this is already like 30 minutes what are 40 minutes no matter Anyway, um, I could talk forever, as you guys know, and I will be talking forever. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, the whole fucking thing. Let's talk about a lot of the things that we talked about today. Talk about more new things, and let's keep this conversation going. And most importantly, let's please bring up subjects here, and let's talk about other shit that most people are not talking about, or at least take other avenues when we're talking about these things, okay? Because, you know, I fucking hate seeing, you know, my subscription list, and I see, like, you know, a lot of the crypto guys, and, you know, besides Ivan Untech, besides Michael, besides Omar, um, besides, you know, crypto, whatever, besides these main guys and a few others, almost everybody talks about the same fucking stories, the same thing, the same everything, Okay? We're not going to do that. We're, obviously, we're talking about a lot of the same stories, but we're taking it completely different routes because that's what we have to do, and at least at least in this channel, okay? Because that's what I provide, completely different perspectives and all this shit, okay? So, anyway, I really hope this was helpful. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope um, you have an amazing Monday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, Tuesday. All right, so, all right, I'm done. But I sure talk a lot. God, I got to get back on here because I just talk so much. I mean, I'm talking so much, I can't even fucking hang.